by popular demand, it's me. It's Ryan Graham. How are you doing? Hi. <laughs> and I'm Yulia Graham. And if you're watching this, that makes you our scent brother, our scent sister, or our non-binary. Scent sibling. Welcome, welcome. Today, .ca. .ca. Today we're going to do this for the second time. We've already filmed this whole thing, but since it's a high five, high five. Um, it was not good because we hadn't had enough of the um, magic five. juice. We hadn't had enough fives. Yeah. Mm. So I keep on fiddling with my glasses. I apologize. My hair is too long. Today, your hair looks fine. Today we are testing the uh, Bold Scent Space fragrances from Commodity, and they give you the five, two, four, six, six. Hi six. Hi, hi six. The six fragrances, two ml each, and they give you little strips. Like I said, we've already filmed this video in its entirety. But anyway, if you are interested, but this in, one's gonna be better. It's gonna be better. Can you see in the um, reflection here the lake? We are about to have a storm, so that's what you're hearing. You're hearing the wind in the trees. You're hearing the thunder. On thunder. Thunder. Feel thunder. the thunder. Lightning, Lightning and the, the thunder. thunder. Oh, I cat didn't like that. There we go. Spun him on. Okay. So this is the bold set kit. I'm gonna ask Ryan to put book onto the strip that says book while I tell you about what the difference is from these. So this is the um, exploration kit. And I wanna tell you that there are three levels of sort of how to experience these same scents. The scents are book, gold, velvet, moss, paper, and milk. Oh my God, that smells good. What is that one? This is book. Book smells good. Oh, the wind is coming. We're not going to be able to do this. So there's three levels. The one we're doing is book. So while she picks up the things. <laughs> the one we're doing right now is bold. So it says here, there's no modesty when it comes to the bold collection. Infused with exotic notes, these are amplified rendition of their expressive counterpart. Designed for those intent on making their presence known, they are for you and everyone else. So the bold is the uh, fragrance is taken to the nth degree. So they have personal, which is those who prefer a subtle, intimate performance, right? So it's it's more of a personal sillage um, and not a lot of projection. And then the expressive, which is the Goldilocks, right? And then the bold, which is bold. It's bold. It's supposed to be in your face. Yeah. So the first one that Ryan has um, sprayed is bold. It on. And the bold ones have a plus. I don't know if you can see that they have a little plus there that's how you know it's the bold uh, rendition and the notes is here are eucalyptus and violet at the top and then cedarwood and sandalwood as the mid and then the base are velvet musk and smirk smirk them if you got them how do you feel Shmirk. about book well i definitely yeah. definitely 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 get the eucalyptus right up front yeah like it. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah. This is fresh and green. It says it's a bravado of books, cedar wood and sandalwood woody essences, amplified with smoky velvety musks. I totally get the eucalyptus. Yeah. Almost dill-ish. Oh gosh, it's beautiful. Um, there's dry. It's dry. This one's dry. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. It's not musky. Okay. It's dry like hey hey. It's not musky. Hey. It is musky, sorry. It is musky. It's mm -hmm. a little bit musty and deep and nice. Would you say feminine or not? Um, I think it would be not. Okay. But I can totally, totally see me getting behind wearing this. Yeah, one. yeah. That's nice, yeah. but where? Where would you wear it to? Hmm. Um, mm. Probably evening out with the friends. Yeah. 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 I think that that would be nice. Mm -hmm. uh, casual. It's casual. Yeah. Um, not necessarily. It, there's nothing um, imposing about it. It's just a really neat, cozy, interesting fragrance mm -hmm. that really does play on the eucalyptus. And what's the other thing in there? Violet, I don't get, but I do get the woods. So it's a woody, musky 
Yeah. It's nice. It's really nice. I'm going to spray moss if you will read us about moss. Do you want to grab the gold one that's down I'll there too? I'll grab gold. Okay, we'll do gold. Okay, okay gold please. Gold. So, uh, first you're going to get vanilla, then nutmeg and saffron, and finally, oakmoss oc again. Yeah, oakmoss. <laughs> oakmoss and patchouli. This is nice. This is interesting. This is a spicy meatball. It's a spicy meatball. Spi spicy meatball. It's a spicy meatball. I it's can nice. Go for and it reminds me of something from the 80s. Not shalimar, but spicy no. like that. I would say that that leans absolutely feminine, and I would say that it's very, very, very warm. I would not even, not even now. Yeah, you can hear the thunder. Did you see the lightning there in the reflection? Um, it's getting crazy. We gotta hurry up. But this very much uh, has. Does this have nutmeg in it? I totally smell nutmeg. Did you say nutmeg? Uh, yep. Yeah, nutmeg, nutmeg and, and saffron. saffron. Where did, this oh. is lovely. That fell down sweet. again. Too. Uh, and to me, ooh, what? and feminine. I, I'm trying to remember. It reminds me of something. It reminds me of ladies at the church. Mm. Opium, maybe black, like the actual opium yeah that's nice uh, it's not for me it's a little bit vintagey and uh, but it's really really nice and I think that oh yeah Ooh. feminine and dressy you wouldn't this is not was not it's not a cuddler high five. High five. high five high five thank you next we're going to velvet black velvet I was gonna sing that oh uh, Velvet's deep notes of vanilla, rose, and amber are made even darker with a dense overdose Whoa. of patchouli and labdanum. Its rich, opulent oriental blend makes for an overindulgence when it meets bare skin. This is velvet, bold. Again, these have counterparts that are, so bold is the most intense. Then there's expressive, which is the Goldilocks, and then there is the personal guys are opening up may I please smell some black velvet that's nice it is nice it's nice and uh, is there saffron in there what did I say the notes were um, I was too busy smelling roasted almond saffron labdanum crisp amber patchouli and smoke I get a lot of the uh, saffron it smells the smoke. a little bit you get the smoke yeah yeah it smells a little bit uh, leathery to me because of that saffron and yeah, it's not unlike other saffron-based fragrances. You know what? If you really like Arabian's Tonka by Montal, this is a very, very demure, even though this is the bold one, this is a very, very demure Arabian's Tonka, which is really hard to find. So yeah, if you, if you, there's a little bit of a BR540 kind of thing going on, but not as sweet. This isn't sweet. None of them so far have been sweet, hey? No. No. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? What do we got? What's next? What is it? What does it say? Moss. <gasps> Moss. We've tested this. We've already filmed this video once and we've tested this one and I feel like I'm just talking. Oh, uh, <laughs> so, it was a little bit warmer yesterday. Tried it on and it was just beautiful. Like it cleared right through heat. It oh was God, just... that's so nice. I get that bergamot and so Moss is uh green and citrus that's mm. what you get it's bergamot oak moss and pedigree yeah. and then there's juniper berry oh it's so fresh it kind of reminds me of irish leather in that sense from nemo paris this is beautiful listen i got the whole idea to get this because uh chris from the perfume nest thank you so much um sent me a sample of milk the expressive one to try and it was an immediate love and we'll talk about that in a second but moss has to be one of my favorite scent profiles because I love oak moss I mm. love a sheep fragrance that is so clean and this is the one that I said like back in the 80s when you smell polo for the first time polo was just a, a beast yeah. right yeah. and my first thought was oh this is sort of like me smelling polo for the first time, but in a really, really good way, right? This is definitely masculine leaning. Yeah. I would wear this in the heat. Gosh, it's lovely. Um, I can't say enough good things. This is crisp and clean, but those juniper berries. So, but it doesn't smell like Christmas. It no. smells like 
fresh, clean, yum. I love moss. That's I yeah. think that's my second favorite Morris one. Morris moss. Morris moss. And All right. what's next? Papier? Hey. Papier. I Plus. know something about papier. Okay, so Cedarwood, Iso E Super. Uh, then you get vetiver, and finally, sandalwood. Yeah, you know what? I know this about this. I am um, anosmic to Iso E Super. I smell nothing. I just sprayed this several times, and I sprayed it several times before, and I know this about this. I do not smell a thing. Can you smell something okay, on there? Okay, so it's saying, think of wet woods, and Isu E Super is unmistakable and reminiscent of mossy woods after rain. It's reminiscent of nothing after nothing with a side of absolutely sweet fanny apple. This is not for kids. No, I smell nothing. The apples are for kids. High five! Five! It's a high six. Seven. Do mm. you smell anything at all there? Um, I get some kind of mossy something. Maybe me too. Uh, yeah. Like, maybe I get some moss and maybe I'm smelling my hand. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Too many cents. Too many cents. Okay, we got to move on. We got to move on. So paper, I don't know. If you know what paper smells like, uh, this fragrance, not the actual paper, paper commodity. That's mm -hmm. why, okay, so that's why they're named commodity, right? These are all commodities. These are all things that would have been very sought after and traded. Um, books are a commodity. They're things, gold, velvet, mm, what's this? Paper, moss. I don't know that moss is a commodity. Moss used to be used in uh, insulating. There you go. Yeah. And then, so there, I would say that up and except for gold and velvet, I would say most of these were masculine leaning. And again, these are the kind of more concentrated fragrances. As far as price goes, the more concentrated fragrances, the bold cost more than the personal and the expressive. But I just got an email and they've lowered their price on the bold for whatever reason. I don't know what you got there. There we go. Okay. And number last. This of has to these. be one of my favorite fragrances of all. Chris, thank you so much. Sent me this fragrance uh, to try, and I bought it. Uh, I knew I wanted it. E me d eight Lee. First. She's wow. Skin musk. Whatever. And cashmere woods. Then, tonka, and marshmallow. Oh yeah. Finally, amber and firewood accord. This is cozy, but cool. It's not sweet, it's dry. This is campfire. Like oh go, my gosh. You're going to the campfire to make s'mores. And, and, and that Tonka is outstanding. If you are watching this and you are on a Tonka kick like me and Melissa, hi Melissa, I love you. Um, this smells like our beloved Bois Doré, which I cannot mention without thinking Sunny Scents. I'm going to link her channel down below and up above and everywhere. Um, please go check out Sunny Scents. Gosh, this is beautiful. And I have to say something. I have to say something. I have to say something. I don't get the lactonic. I don't get the creamy. I get that Tonka. Mm -hmm. And I like the, ex the bold better than the expressive. You know what? I'm happy to have the expressive. I'm not gonna spray it on him earlier. Oh my god, it smells even better on you. You that's not even fair. I pull the sweet out of everything. Ryan, he his skin picks sweet out and amplifies it. This is not sweet at all. It's airy, it's mm. it's 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 cozy but yet airy and dry. It's gorgeous. The million. No, uh Ew, no, she's saying it's it million reminds or me of, like, sexy two twelve. Sexy two twelve by Carolina Herrera or Million by Paco Rabanne, and I get that. What's yeah, there, in the base there's there? Are, there are similarities there. It's the amber and the woods. Yeah. Gosh, that's gorgeous. The uh, uh, this one is the expressive one, so it doesn't have the plus. It's not the bold. Mm -hmm. But the bold has an even more beautiful play on that Tonka. They're both gorgeous. And if you know what, if you were wearing them side by each, you would never know. You would never be able to tell the difference. I know the difference. I'm but I'm not. I'm going to I'm going to wear this 
until with it's pride. with pride. This is, uh, I'm gonna wear this to cuddle. I'm gonna wear this yeah, on are. summer evenings out. Yep. I'm gonna wear this uh, anytime I wanna smell yummy, but not sweet. Yeah, it's yummy, but ooh, we gotta hurry up, eh? We're about to get um, slammed. Right on. Storm. Okay, so as far as it goes, these are all beautiful. If you're looking for a fresh, clean, summer scent that's juniper berries and eucalyptus oh my word is that eucalyptus in there moss no bergamot bergamot and juniper berries my favorite one out of them all is milk obviously this creamy sweet mm. it's not sweet sorry this creamy not it's sweet, sweet on me airy gorgeousness mm -hmm. it's milk for me all the way but for him i would choose moss Although the milk smells really, really good. Moss or book? Like, she like book? book? Oh yeah, book's even right? better. There's that eucalyptus. Yeah? Exactly. Book, book is musky, musty. It, re it kind of reminds me of Jazz Club from- Man musk. Man musk. It reminds me of Jazz Club from Maison Margiela. A lot, a lot, a lot book. Mm -hmm. Not people they attack, which is funny. Okay, here it is. This was the, ow, that hurt. This was the high five. I seven. I seven. Get it? Six, seven. Get it? And it's going to start to rain soon. This is the Commodity Discover Your Bold Scent Space. Uh, they've lowered the price on the bold. It's stunning. The Milk Bold is stunning, but the Milk Expressive is also stunning. There's something sweeter in the Milk Bold. Yeah, there's something sweeter, and it's absolutely a gorgeous fragrance. Thank you, Chris from the Perfume Nest. Thank you, Ryan Graham, for uh, being patient with me and filming. Thank you. You're welcome. We're gonna. Thanks uh, for having me. Yeah. Hey. Okay. We're yeah. gonna smoke some salmon because that's what we do when we film. We smoke yeah. salmon. Yeah. yeah. Ryan's gonna smoke some salmon. Yeah. We're gonna have a nice storm. Stormy, stormy. It's starting to storm. Stormy weather. We're gonna go. Uh, I'm probably not gonna edit this. Uh, so no. Straight sorry, through. Sorry about Just the bit about. In the beginning there, whatever. In the beginning. Thank you for watching and hanging out with us. I'm Yulia. This is Ryan. Hi, I'm Ryan. And uh, we're your scent brothers, scent sisters, or non-binary. Scent siblings. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. That is getting dark. I was doing a funky thing. Like, can you see that fold there? That's bizarre. Remember when I used to be up here? I used to be up here. <laughs>